And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this very quick video, we're going to be having a look at the left's demise, in my honest opinion. This is Desperation 101, as far as I'm concerned. And there's a couple of stories. And it's left-wing governments being absolutely terrified of their own populations. Now, as Thomas Jefferson said very wisely, when the people fear the government, there's tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. Can't argue with that one, can you? Well, it seems Denmark have put coronavirus anti-government extremism on a terrorism list. So if you don't like the fact that you're being locked down or mandated jabs or being told that you're going to lose your job if you don't get a certain thing or being told what to do and to have all of your freedoms removed, if you want to, I don't know, protest that, you're now classed as an extremist and you'll be put on a terrorism list. Now this sounds terrible, doesn't it? But it is a good sign. It means that finally the governments are starting to fear the people and when the government's the people there is liberty on top of that you've got this story coming out of canada now they have gone and arrested yep you heard that right arrested a politician because he stood with the freedom convoy stood with the freedom con convoy honk honk he's been arrested for it this screams desperation if you can't beat your enemy with words and you can't beat their ideology with words and their lust for freedom the only way you can beat them is to use your power that was given to attack your own citizen and also anyone that supports them. At the end of the day, that freedom protest, whether the government liked it or not, was a protest and should be protected. And therefore, this MP should not have any problems whatsoever fighting this. But it's a prime example of how far the left will go to make sure that they control and keep the power. Absolutely shameful by both nations, in my honest opinion. But it does show the rest of the world how absolutely disgraceful these people are. <laughs> It'll only be like a snowball ball building and building and building it shows you what this are actually scared of doesn't it normal people protesting the government well i tell you what governments if you don't like the normal people protesting you maybe you should start doing what you're saying when you're getting your mandates out maybe you should start listening to the people instead of just throwing them on terrorism lists absolutely shocking let me know what you think though if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit like comment subscribe hit the share button go and check out my website as well everything goes on there stay sane see you on the next one